There's a reason why it's not considered a classic. It's just... Yeah, again. But don't worry. Don't worry, I'm not gonna be like I'm not gonna be like Oh hey, I'll just do the rest off camera. No, I'm no. it's good, it's good. Like we'll just grind through, we'll just grind. We'll do it on camera, visible proof. I believe too. It's what's keeping me going at this stage, Kailuya. That one was the closest we've got yet. Like, I was actually, um, I hit it twice. It was just that, like, there were drones everywhere. But what I didn't realize was, um, I should have been hitting it from the side instead of from uh, up, um, below. I was mixing the two hint videos together, and that fucked me up. And also, another thing, um... Typically when I play these games, or when I played them when I was younger, like, I was just, you know, grinding them out by myself, you know? No one watching me. Just me and the game. And so this new dynamic of, you know, uh, um, chatting with people online wh while I try to do this stuff, it's a, uh, it's an interesting difficulty modifier, if you will, I want to say. There are people that might say, oh, it's, it's easier to do both things at the same time, but it's really not. How the fuck have I not hit the head yet?
I think even you guys can tell, like as I'm doing this level over and over again, I am starting to get used to it. Wrong button. Like, I thought, I, I, like, at two, I was like, yes, I finally have it. I finally have it. Two health, two health, no problem. But then I get hit from that projectile. And then he's squeezed too close. And then, like, I've got the drone to worry about. And then I guess I'm too close to the, the, the queen. And he just fucks me. There's, there's no cheese that you can um, pull against the boss. You just have to stick with the strategy. You have to keep moving a little bit because even now you can see the projectiles. Um, they'll keep shooting randomly, RNG-like. There's no, there's no pattern to them. You just gotta like move up and down the, the lower lip, get the jaw. Once you get the jaws, in my mind I'm thinking, okay, I'll just um. I'll attack from the sides and then go up as high as I can, even even if it spawns a droid. But that's very um. That's very um. 
what's the word? Too much left to chance. Yep, made it to the boss, knocked, knocked its jaw off, and uh, both of its eyes. There, there is no health regen in that um, final fight at all. So that's why I'm, I'm looking at these people and I'm like, how did you, how did you get health back? And the thing is, like, I'm, I'm flying completely blind. This is like a 20 to 30 year old game. Like, hard as fucking shit. No one wants to complete this stuff, except for people that are on Retro Team and just want to get the badge. It's literally the last boss. Like, what I would like to do at this point, I would like to practice the Vortex Queen. You know, to see if I could win. But, um, I can't. I'm trying to get the, the badge. I'm trying to do the, the Deathless. Well, not, not Deathless, but Continuous. No password. So, it's tough, man. Would I say that this is harder than, um, uh, the Guardian Legend to badge? Tough one. Tough one. I feel like I'm missing out on, like, a, a vital piece of information that will make it so much easier. Like, you know, just a, a bit of cheese. And to be fair, like, that strat that that guy, um, un unveiled on that YouTube video, that was a good bit of cheese. That was a very useful strat. The Guardian Legend was fun, this is torture? Exactly, Paseo. I'm getting hungry. It's like I had I had dinner at like um a really early uh, because I was helping um, my brother move. I want to say I had like a uh, a whopper, so a Burger King whopper. Um, at four o'clock, and it's now one thirty-eight. I might I might I might go for a um food break just to get something in my belly. Um. But it's going to be so satisfying to say you're done. Oh, yes. Very much so, Kailuya. Five minute forced auto scroll with insta death is dog shit. Yep. Like, I, I don't like how, like, the Japanese version apparently did it right. Like, if the a Vortex Queen gets you, you have to fight a way out of your stomach. You don't have to repeat the Welcome to the Machine level. Hmm. Yep, there is no softcore points on my account. Not that there's anything wrong with having softcore points on your account. But, uh... That's not how we do it. That's not how we do it around here. Around these parts. To be fair, it only took me, um, I want to say three hours to get back to, um, this part of the game. And... Even... Like, I'm not saying we're not going to do, be doing it, because we're so close to beating this thing already. I just need a bit more health. And I kind of need to, um... You know, at, at some point, that music is so fucking annoying to listen to. Like... What I want to say is, like, I want to get the hit the queen uh, from the side when it's closer to the middle of the map. Um, and if the droids come to attack me, I don't know. But um, if I have another look at this guy's playthrough, once he gets the eyes off, I want to see how easy it is that he take. Oh wait, 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 wait. Does he just like? Yeah, he pretty much does it like damageless. Um, so he's sitting on five health. Uh, 
All right, so that last like little bit tagged him. So he's entering that last final bit of the battle with four health. Fuck, and she only needs like five hits. Five hits in the head. Fuck. What an antiquated phrase. What did I say? Like, it's too late. What did I say? I can't remember what I even said. Mastery is now not 200%. I like 200%, made it feel like you went above and beyond. Yeah. I don't like it when, um, you know, like, someone badges something, like the set, it's done. You got the badge, congratulations, it's there. But then, um, a revision happens, and then, like, you're expected to get the new badge with the new achievements in it. But what if you don't want to? What if you're like, okay, nah, I'm done. For example, what- okay, let's say uh, Echo gets like a revision, and then like basically my, my badge is like, you know, null and void, as is. Would I want to touch this game again? I'd be tempted to flush it. Fuck that. Like I don't need the badge that bad, you know? Like some, some, of, the, some of the sets on retro achievements are getting just fucking reckless. It's, it's like... The elite of elite retro gamers. And you can probably count on, you know, one hand. You know? Like, who are these games meant for? Everybody? To, to bring people into the retro scene? Or to create, like, a, a tiered elite set of gamers? You know what I mean? Like... I'm not going back to re-complete the Super Punch-Up badge. I, I did everything except for the time trials. And like you can even see in in the um the comments on that badge, like I had a good old whinge. Chrono Gear was right there with me. And then he deleted his comments and then he badged the game, and then he changed the comment things entirely. So a lot of politics going on in, at uh, RA that I'm not aware of and I don't care for. So. <laughs> Anyway, let's concentrate on on getting this uh, Vortex Queen, and then I'll treat myself with food. Food that I'll put in my belly. By the way, um, Kailuia, you, um, badged a Daedeus, didn't you? Dead Daedeus. Pretty sure you did. I think I was even there when I watched you do it. Forgive me, it's a, it's, it's a... A bit late, I'm a bit preoccupied. Like the original set for Super Punch Out was fantastic as what as it was. But then, and you, it's going to happen again and again and again, I can feel in my fucking bones. Someone's going to come to a Retro Chimps and think, Ooh! Ooh, I really like that game. No, no, seriously guys, it's my favourite game. 
and they're gonna take like a, a 20 achievement set and they're gonna make it like 85. No one wants to touch it. Because it's just like, you know, I've been there, done that, like... And then you got the opposite problem where there's like badges where the amount of achievements in there are just like it's just ridiculous. Like um if you've seen the Final Fantasy 12 International Zodiac Job System badge. I I really like Final Fantasy 12. Uh, I'll I'll never touch that badge. Never. No No intention of touching that ever. I think also it's um maybe it depends on um how you approach the games that you play on uh, retro achievements. I could definitely see someone taking like a massive game and making it their project. For me, that's not going to work because of the way that I've set up my channel. But uh, I could see someone that you know. They take it upon themselves to complete, like, a, a massive set. Like, um, for example, the, uh, the Doom set for Play uh, PlayStation. That's a massive set. But, uh, Mr. JR... Mr. JR is only, like, four achievements away from it. And he's just grinding that out, grinding it out. So... I guess my point is, there is a place for it, but I think it's getting a bit out of control, the revisions. And I don't like how the revisions are, you know... You have to go into the, the Discord and vote on it, and I'm like, uh There should be a better, more public way of doing that, in my opinion. Whatever, whatever. Jaeger did Tales of Fantasia, yeah. That was Fantasia, a very fun game, but I feel that um, with a lot of these fun games, classics that we all grew up with and played and loved, once we try to chase their Retro Achievements badge, we end up hating them. And it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that at all. Echo Revision, all levels damageless. Um, you could probably do all level uh, all levels damageless if you're being super careful. It's possible. Um, so long as they allow the password system. But I mean, like, what would you use to incentivize people? Like, um, would you make the um the levels like more points? Like, I I don't know, like. Like, this set already has, uh, 41 achievements. Like, that's not, like... That's not nothing. Oh, a one credit run? Like, no death run? I would say, fine, put it in a bonus set. Put it in a bonus set, and then let's see how many people actually would like to, to get that. Anything like that, like, when... The game is already bullshit. When you say, oh yeah, 1cc, oh, damageless boss, it's like... <clears throat> damageless boss, I can understand because usually bosses can be cheesed, but... Any boss with RNG... Un unless, again, you're able to load in uh, with the password. Then that's fine. You know? In my opinion. Have to do in 25 minutes. I don't. I'm, I'm not even sure what the uh, the speed record for um, Echo is. But I mean, I don't like those um, uh, time limit achievements like um, Metal Gear. 
complete the entire game one sitting uh, in under two hours. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> you know, you know how knowledgeable you'd have to be to do that? It's feasible, world record is only 18 minutes, 70 minutes. Oh. How the fuck did that thing not die? Of course, the head still survives. Uh, 22 minutes for any percent, no camera freeze. That's when you start. That's when I'm. That's when I'm like, okay, you you played too much Echo now. You you played too much Echo. Twenty-five still gives grace for mistakes. Hmm. All right, I'm, I'm fucking up them this um, bit a bit too much, and I'm getting a bit like not rusty, but m like. I need more consistent final boss battles, so I should kind of lock in a bit. Please keep talking. I don't want to like stop you guys from talking. It's just like I need to, I need to concentrate. I feel, I feel like I'm so close to it, guys. I feel like I'm, I can taste it. So my PB is um, knocking the jaw off. Knocking the jaw off. Getting rid of both eyeballs and hitting um, the head twice. But you need to hit the head five times to beat it. So I'm honestly quite close. There's an achievement for under 25 minutes. Nah, nah, nah. People would just be speculating. But, uh... You, you give it some time. You find like a, a a junior RA dev who's like, oh, Echo is my favorite game. Like watch the set turn from like 41 achievements to like 120. No, they will like it, you know. They'll be handing out points like candy. But no, no one no will want to touch the shit. You mark my words, it will happen. But hopefully by then, RA will have worked out a compromise for people that don't want to rebadge. Because at the moment it's like, well, you do the revision or your badge counts for nothing kind of thing. It's just like a really shitty situation, I feel. Also, hello, Rezard. I'm not sure if I've seen you in my chat before. But welcome. As you can probably tell, I'm trying really hard to be good at video games. But Echo the Dolphin is a very fucking sweaty game. A very sweaty game.
A very sweaty game. A very sweaty game. We're we're at the the um the point where I'm like okay, I feel I feel safe in saying we're gonna get to the uh the queen again. You know, minus any major mistakes. Come on, come down here. I don't think I can do it with this amount of health, but... Hope Springs Eternal. Mm. Oh god, I hope not. I am just a joke make. I am just a joke make. I am humble joke make. No, 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 no. Ow. Basic, basically, you have to get, like, the jaw off, full health. No exception. If I hang up the top, the drone is just like, the drone, bang, 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 bang. And so, it's like, okay, I'm just finding my moment to hit the jaw, while trying not to get hit with the projectiles. This is some tough-ass shit, man. Just wondering, how many people have actually got the badge? Uh, 28 people. 28 people out of 1,889 people. So that's probably 
It's about it's about one percent, I'd say. Like if we want to be precise here. Calculator. 28 divided by 1889. 1.5% uh, rounded. 1.5% of players. Yeah. Yeah. But the main thing is like, um, I need to do, I need to do the eyeball bit cleaner. Uh, I need to do the jaw bit cleaner and the eyeball bit cleaner. Um, but at the very beginning of the fight, like I killed one, I thought, oh yeah, you beaut. But then two others spawned behind it, and so by the time I dealt with those three, I had like three health. I'm like, oh. and I already got tagged by the queen, so. I'm just going to try doing this without the music for this level, once. Like, is it just going to be spooky? Yeah, it's it's full spooky. This is fucked. We'll do it, we'll do it. Full, this is spooky mode. Maybe spooky mode will help me. Like, it allows me to, like, shout less. I will say that. I, uh, would I say I prefer it without the music? Maybe. Because after a while you just, you just like over it, the music. And you kind of just want to concentrate on what needs to be done. And also, it can kind of help you in a way because um, you can be made aware of like, Oh, you didn't hit, kill that final head because you can still hear the enemy make noise. That was messy. Well, I got something. Okay. I think I see something in the background. Or maybe it's just me. So you can kind of see like um where my tail is now. You got L and then it looks like a three. I thought it said like um level for a second there, but it's not. It's just like random.
don't worry about it because you can get up here. Just rely on the tanking of the health. Or die. I thought I had a bit more time to flick, but I forgot that particular bit is like pretty quick. That was a pity, that was like the last major sort of section. Yeah. I think I got them both that time, that was good. Please tell me if this is like unsettling or like you people would prefer the music. I don't mind with the music on. I just find this uh, a little bit less um, to the point where I need to shout in the microphone. He rushed me then. Why can't they ever wait? Oof, 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 that was sleep.
Oh, Banana. Oh. Naughty fucking game. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't get the last hit, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> 